Hey Collider fans, John Roca here, and it's time to talk Game of Thrones. Da -da 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 -da. The series finale is days away, so it's time to rank all the moments we want to see in the final episode. Before we jump in, I wanted to let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Ready to start your new business? Make your online presence known with Squarespace and get 10% off with offer code Collider. Click the link in the description to get started. So last night's Game of Thrones episode finally gave us the Danny heel turn the show has been teasing for a number of seasons as she fully embraced her Targaryen lineage and laid waste to almost every building and almost every citizen in King's Landing. It was a powerful moment in the series and a controversial one. Many people are expressing love for the turn and just as many seem to claim that the turn was random or sudden. I believe the turn was earned and there is evidence in previous seasons to support it. Let's examine this. Okay, as fans of the show know, Danny stated in season 7 to Elena Tyrell that she did not want to be the Queen of Ashes. People are pointing to this moment as proof that Danny's turn did not make sense. However, as Mike Tyson once said, everyone has a plan until they get hit. And in previous seasons, Danny has been taking hits since she took on this role as a self-appointed liberator of slaves and breaker of the wheel. She's had to learn on the fly as freeing slaves became a more complex task than she or any of her advisors bargained for, and she's had to fight off factions like the Sons of the Harpy as they've come close to getting the better of her in her exploits. Now this season, Danny has been taking more hits than anyone else again as she has lost two of her precious dragon children in the most heartbreaking ways, lost a large number of her unsullied and Dothraki armies, lost her most ardent supporter, advisor, and friend in Miss Sunday and finally, the love of Jon Snow. Look, that's a lot for one person to take, let alone someone with that Targaryen blood inside of them. And when you factor in that Tyrion informs her that the Master of Whispers, Lord Varys, has betrayed her at the start of this episode, which he wouldn't have had the information to do if Jon hadn't broken his promise to her about hiding his lineage, it only adds to the ball of hits she has had to endure. She correctly questions Sansa's intentions in telling Tyrion about Jon's secret, surmising that she knew that Tyrion would tell Varys. So can you blame Danny for finally deciding to take matters into her own hands? Okay, so where were the clues in previous seasons that foreshadowed her desire to burn everything to the ground? Well, remember in season one, Magi Miri Mazdur prophesies that Danny will give birth to a son who would burn cities to the ground. This does not seem to bother Danny at all. She's almost excited by this prospect. In season two, Danny, speaking to the elders of Karth, threatens that when her dragons are grown, she will take back what was stolen from her, destroy those who wronged her, lay waste to armies, and burn cities to the ground. It's all right there, people, in season two. Benioff and Weiss and George R.R. Martin have been warning us that Danny has been, always been willing to use the nuclear option when she feels the situation calls for it. And remember in season six, when Tyrion asks her how she plans to take back Marine from those masters who oppose her, she calmly and casually states that she will crucify the masters, set their fleets on fire, and return their cities to the dirt. Hello, King's Landing. Again, the nuclear option. That master and Marine who was burned alive was the start. Randall and Dickon Tarly were the continuation, and Varys was the full embracing of this option inside her. Only her advisors have been able to sway her from her natural impulses, and this season, they've either died in battle defending her, been beheaded in front of her, or betrayed her. She is now free and clear to give in to her way of ruling once and for all. Oh, one last thing. Remember in this episode that as Tyrion and others try to persuade her not to kill the citizens of King's Landing and be merciful, she counters that she is being merciful to the future generations of citizens who will not have to live under a tyrant like Cersei. Ironically, this makes her a tyrant, but that's a video for another day. See, in her mind, she is still the liberator, come to save the world and break the wheel. If Game of Thrones, George R. R. Martin, Benioff, and Weiss have taught us anything, it's that nice rulers or people unwilling to be ruthless in this world are easily betrayed, imprisoned, killed, or beheaded. You may not like that, but you cannot deny this truth. Hashtag Ned Stark. And contrary to what some people have been saying, maybe Danny has actually learned the lessons of her mistakes and did not want another mess like Marine, so she chose a new path, destruction and rebirth. She wants to mold the city and the world into the image she wants it to be. She wants to be a benevolent tyrant. Perhaps she will rule from Dragonstone, as a few have suggested, and leave King's Landing a pile of ashes as a reminder to those who would oppose her. That is if she survives next week's episode. Remember, no one else left in line for the Iron Throne has conquered lands and kingdoms and learned from these endeavors. She has, and this turn is proof that she has embraced her power and strength and is willing to yield it for what she believes is the greater good. Whether she's a villain, as some people have been saying, is up to you. Thanks again to Squarespace for bringing you this video. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Do you love entertainment as much as we do? Choose from one of their award-winning templates to showcase your own reaction videos and reviews. Squarespace provides creators with the tools they need to bring their ideas to life. Visit squarespace.com collider to get started and use code collider for 10% off your first purchase. Okay, that's our video on Danny's 
turn, let us know what you thought of her turn in the comments section below. Remember to like and share this video on your social media, and to subscribe to Collider for more Game of Thrones content just like this.